Hello everybody, it is Toby here, back for another episode of SMPDX3 Amplified Edition. And we are getting a slight bit of frame rate lag because of it, the rain that's going on, but the rain is good. Because we are getting loads of drops from our fish farm. As you can see, we have got tons and tons of various different enchanted books. However, we are running out of space for the fish farm. Uh, we are filling up these chests rather quickly with junk. And I need a way to store everything that I get from my fish farm, like all the fish and everything, uh, other than just chucking it in all of these chests here. And also a way to kill any junk items that I don't want and sort through things more easily. So what we're going to do is under this mountain here, we're going to have a fishing hut with our fish farm in on top of the mountain up there. And then we are going to have a basement in the mountain down here with the entrance probably around here somewhere. And a hopper chain leading down into various different sorting systems and a chesting area. And it should be really good. So I guess uh, the first thing to start by doing is actually quickly show you something that me and Fluff did in Fluff's episode of SMPDX2. I will be leave a link to that in the description, so go follow that. But if we just pop up here... And wow, we're only getting 14 frames per second. That's not particularly great, is it? It's not even raining anymore. Damn. Okay, well, let's hope that picks up a bit. But we built this little area here, this viewing platform with this house here. And I did the interior bit of this primarily. That's the bit I'm priding myself on primarily. So this bit here, it looks kind of cool. And yeah, it is a portal room, which looks rather, rather nice. So yeah, this is a thing that me and Fluff built. So... Uh, I will leave a link to that in the description below, and I should highly recommend you check that out, because I did not record it, it's all on Fluff's channel, but anyway, yeah, first things first, with this uh, fish farm basement area, we are going to have to create some space, and I think the best thing to start by doing is, do I have a bucket anywhere? Oh, these are all the resources we've got for our stuff, and well, these are all the enchanted books, but do we have a bucket? I guess not, we'll just use a bit of cobble for now. And we just start by removing this area of fish farmy goodness. And keep a hold of this sticky piston, which is so precious. But yeah, let's grab all of this stuff up, grab some of these chests up. I'll come and sort these ones down here out when we actually have a better way of dealing with all the junk. But yeah, let's stick the fish farm stuff in here. Just so we don't lose it. And put some of this cobble away in here. And I think a good place to start is probably digging out an area for the basement. So I am going to get to work digging this area out. And I will see you guys back when we have finished digging. Okay, so we have a area started we haven't finished digging it out yet but we've just started so we can get a little bit of building progress done our frames always drop all right they're they're wavering they're wavering a little bit we'll have to I'll, should we have a look in the video settings of what we can do for that let's turn the render distance down just a little bit uh smooth lighting can go off and that that's oh yeah look at that that's made a difference we've got 30 fps now there we go that's a lot better what is Nerd saying? So, okay, Nerd's restarting the server once the clip's over. Right, we got to get some building done quick then. So if we get ourselves some stone brick... Oh, I got this pick. I was uh, FK fishing and I got a mending book and I didn't realise, but it was in this chest here. It was in, like, randomly in there. I was just looking through. But we did get a mending book and I completely glossed over it, but it's awesome now. We've got a great pickaxe, which is brilliant, but... We've got to do a little bit of extra digging here because I didn't remember to dig those bits out. And there we go, like so. We can just fill in everything after this, after I've dug that bit out. Fill it all in with stone brick. Just so when we're looking under the... Oh, that's not where that goes. That's too high up. Basically, when we're looking through the... Um, chests if you can see through the gaps by the sides you won't see any nasty stone and stuff you'll just see stone brick which is a lot better than the other way around but yeah this is just 
something very quick we can do on camera. Let's place that in the wrong place. I'll sort that out later. Right, well, we've got a basis going. Uh, I think we should probably get some various other building blocks to start doing some things. As well, we go in here, grab some cobblestone. Should actually bring a crafting table over here. Let's grab this one. Let's get rid of my fishing rod for now. Here we are. Uh, let's craft some stairs. Not one, let's craft 40 stairs. And yeah, we'll put these in between each of the pillars. Like that, there we go. Right, we also need a little bit of spruce wood there. Which is in here. And what we're gonna do is, where does this beam go? This beam goes on this block here. We're gonna bring a beam across all the way like so let's grab that up so we don't waste too much resources and we also need to bring a beam across the bottom here we'll collect up any that aren't visible in just a second and these are going to be like the basis for the shelves where the shelves are going to be going so yeah, this is where like the shelves with chests on are going to be going. And actually, uh, under the chests, we can just put a little bit more stone brick down the back here. And by the way, these edges will be filled in with stone brick. Uh, because the chests are going to be in modules, but just for ease of building, I'm not going to fill them in just yet. So yeah, we got this. Uh, did I bring the chests? No, I didn't. I left them with... How do we get out? <laughs> oh dear. Alright, let's just grab this up just for a little bit of accessibility and grab up our chests and trap chests with our hoppers. So basically the essential idea for this side here, this is going to be all the sortables, so fish, puffer fish, any random junk we get from fishing is just going to go in here and be sorted. And then on the other side is where we're going to have the junk chest that we could sort through, flick a lever and they'll go off and stuff like that. So we need to grab, uh, we'll start with trap chests and we'll go along like so. That is not where that's supposed to go. Like this. As you can see we're gonna have like modules of different chests. Like that. We're gonna need more chests but here we have that and then we'll get our hoppers. And the hoppers are going to go along the back for now. Uh, it, it, oh, that, that'll do. I've got directional hoppers on from Vanilla Tweaks, which makes life a lot easier to see where I'm placing them. Uh, we'll just do this module for now anyway. So is this a trap chest or a normal chest? That's a normal chest. So here we're going to put another normal chest, trap chest, normal chest, trap chest like so. So as you can see that's how the module goes. Then over the front here we're gonna have, we'll stand on the spruce pillar, that's easy. I didn't want to put that in my off hand. what are you doing? Put more hoppers like this and then with our chests again we're gonna go normal chest, trap chest. Nope that is actually wrong. Good job Toby. We're gonna go normal chest, trap chest, normal chest, trap chest, like so. And then that's basically one module of uh, chests and we're going to come back here and do some redstone up the top in a bit but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue building these modules uh, like that and build them all the way along craft a bit more chests up and I can't remember it's, no, this will be a trap chest and just keep building the modules and then when we've done the modules and Got a little bit more progress done on the room. I will get back with you and show you what we've done. Okay, so I am not going to lie. I did the redstone on camera. I've got all the chests and redstone sorted. Because I cannot do redstone on camera for the life of me. I did redstone off camera to save you guys the trauma of watching me trying to redstone on camera. And I have to deeply apologize. I recorded the last two clips on Quake Pro. And I don't know how I didn't notice when playing. Because I was uh, doing some screenshots for um, various 
things and stuff, and I needed Quake Pro to be able to get everything in the screen screenshot. And I left Quake Pro on by accident, so I have to deeply apologise that now everything looks super close, but this is the normal FOV and this is what I play at. But anyway, we have got everything we're going to be filtering into the system. We've got fish, salmon, puffer fish, clownfish, leather, rotten flesh, string, bone, stick, name tag, tripwire hooks and ink sacks. They're all the things we're going to be filtering into this system, which... Uh, is going to store up over time and once we able to get like a mob farm I'll hook that up into this system as well maybe and other various stuff but this is going to be mainly for fish farm drops and we've got our filter blocks here so we are going to just drag the filter blocks along here and put our block in filter blocks item oop that's the wrong thing filter blocks item filter blocks item so this is going to this is our first this is the fishy module and then this is going to be like the mobs module so blocks leather filter blocks rotten flesh filter blocks string Oop, filter blocks bone all right and then the last one is sort of miscellaneous sort of the miscellaneous module so we got like sticks name tag stuff like that and various different things so yeah we gotta do filter blocks ink sacks filter blocks tripwire hook and finally filter blocks and name tags so there we go this is gonna what's gonna be filtering out all of the various different drops we get from fishing into our sorted chest and I realize this is probably way over the top for the amount of storage we'll need for some of these items but it's better to have a lot of storage than have too little storage so the next thing we're going to be doing is uh, sorting out this side. Yes, I am a nerd. Uh, sorting out this side where it's going to be the junk bits. And I'm going to fix up the top of the hoppers and have them come around. This section is going to be slightly different. But yeah, we've got all the storage in. And I don't think we need to get to this side again except to put in hoppers. So yeah, we've got... A lovely setup of redstone here and it's really good progress for the second episode to have this set up so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm basically going to kind of mirror this over this side uh, with the pillars and stuff but I'm going to leave this section open and do the redstone and stuff for you with this but this side I'm just going to do some decoration and stuff and throw out the flooring and stuff and then that's going to be the basement nearing completion so once we have done that I will get back with you to sort out this section here and I will get back here with you once that is complete. Okay guys, we have got the room kind of sorted out. We have added in a bit of details with signs, which I like. We've got a little bit more to do there. But over on this side, we have various, various different details in. We've got loads of random stuff. Bonsai trees, note blocks, pumpkin there, fern eye, chests, a crafting table, item frames, fishing flag, more trees, an armor stand, cobwebs. Random fence, another note block, random different things that give this part a basement-y feel. It's all cluttered. And over this side, where I've left this open because this is where we're going to be doing a bit of stuff and things now. So basically what we've got to do is, as I just said, a couple of things. So we're going to do a few things here right now. We're going to put hoppers coming down here with some double chests. Uh, now, correct me if I'm wrong in doing this. Just trying to think how this is supposed to go. Like, nope, that is immediately wrong. Great job, Toby. You've done a really smashing job there. No, it's like this. So if we do that, yeah, like that. And we actually need to get around the back there. Let's just dig through here. Well, that was a bit counterintuitive. There we go. We're back down here now and we want to get our chests once again and put them along the front here. And in the gaps as well. This is kind of claustrophobic back here but not to worry we actually need to get under here so which direction should we have the stuff leading out of? Where do we put the disposal chamber? I guess we should put it over here. So these ones go down here. This is the bottom hoppers. Uh, let's dig our way out the back here and put these hoppers in here like so and we should actually get around the corner here and get our 
thing bricks out and we're actually going to do some redstone on camera the unthinkable thing i said we shouldn't do last time we're going to do it so we're going to put some torches here those will lock the hoppers and let's see if we let's break this that will help us get out and around the back of these we want to put some repeaters which i didn't bring with me hopefully we've got enough repeaters left over uh, oh no sprint jumping i'm sorry i'm sorry don't don't hate me for doing that Oh, we do. We have plenty. We have lots and lots of repeaters, which is lovely. So, yes, we're going to stick those in here. Around the back. There we go. Repeaters in and around the back of those repeaters. We need our redstone dust. Which is going to end up coming up to this pillar here. So how would that do? Oh, it does go on top. Oh, that's a problem. There we go. That's fixed it. And put that there. Actually, uh, you're able to see that there. So we don't want to put it there. We'll route it around the side. Just to save that from happening. Put that there. And get our lever. Stick it on here. Then when we flick that lever, this will power and unpower those torches, which means... Alright, let's let's just do a test. Let's put a stack of stone brick in there. They go down, and that will go down into the hoppers. Which is not doing what I should probably want, wish I wanted to do. Oh, that's because that's turned on. Let's turn that off. Well, that's a problem. Let's route that out round the side instead. Now it should be working a little better. Okay. So let's unpower that. And we should see that we've got blocks left in. No, we don't. It's because they're in the hopper, which is under there. Let's let's dig around. This is why you don't do a redstone with Toby. Right, let's put our stack of stone back in the chest. As you can see, we don't see the stone going anywhere. That's because the hoppers are locked. And when we unlock them, the stone drains out. But it's a trap chest, so we don't see it going anywhere. But as you can see, the stone is leaving, which is what we want. And then that will go into there, and we'll have a hopper chain... Uh, running to a dropper system that drops them into lava or something because that's going to be our rubbish disposal. We'll, we'll turn that off for now and collect our stone which is probably locked in hoppers everywhere. Oh that's not gone well. Alright let's let's grab that out. We got our stack of stone back. There we go. We've got we've got a working system anyway. That's the main thing which is good and we want to... where's our stone? We've left stone bricks. We need stone brick stairs. We have any, we've got 12, perfect. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that. And we need slabs, I forgot the slabs again. What is this? I am not doing very well today, am I? Uh, there we go, slabs, perfect. Right, let's stick them in there. Perfect, right, there we go. That's our junk chest for when we're fishing and we need to get stuff out. So as you can see, we've, we, 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 we've been working away, what happened to my mouth there, that, that was weird. Anyway, we, we've been working away at d prettying up this area, and it has been going well, very well indeed. And we need a way to store our all of enchanted books. So how many enchanted books are there in the game? I do not know, I'll figure that out. But what I'm thinking of is having a, a bit of a chest wall here, which has all of our enchanted books in it, but that could change. So we're going to have a chest wall of all of our enchanted books there, which should be nice and easy to set up. And then once we've done that, I'll, I'll get on with the roof and finish up this area nice and clean up. And then we will move on to actually building the fishing hut that's going to be feeding this place. So I'll catch you back when this area is all done. Okay, so it's been a little bit. I have got everything basement-wise done and dusted. You can see in there I had this little window and blocked off the entrance. Because the entrance is going to be up on this hill up here, here is the entrance to the basement. 
Um, well, this is where we're going to be building our fishing hut, and then we're going to make a little lake down here so it doesn't look like it's a fishing hut in a mountain for no reason. But this hopper goes down into the system, so everything we filter should be filtered. I filtered a couple of things. So if we just pop down in here, we got our basement. And it's nice and gloomy and moodlit because mobs can't spawn in here, which is good. We got a little window. And yeah, as you can see, we filtered in a lot of puffer fish that I had and some name tags and stuff. But nothing's come through here yet because we haven't got anything in here. But instead of having a wall of chests for enchanting books, I have got a minecart chest that's going to go out to a little area. I can show you that now, actually. Uh, I, also, I need to still get those signs in there and on there because I don't have them. So that, that's something i got to do. I need to go farm quite a bit of wood. And I've used up all my iron as well, so I'm going to have to do that. But if we pop... I'll chop these trees down, actually. That's a good idea. Uh, if we go down over here, you can see that just down there, like here, there's where the minecart comes out. And on here, I'm going to build a little enchanted book storage area that's going to come out in the mountain there and have like a little support. And I guess we can start farming the resources we need for this fish hut right now by chopping down these trees but yeah we need a bit of wood and stuff it's not a very big hut you could see i laid out the foundations over there earlier let me just pop up yeah you can see this is the foundations for it this is just how big it's going to be it's just going to hold the fish farm and then all the drops and stuff will go down into the bottom so basically i am going to continue farming these trees down and get a lot of wood and i'm going to get building done and i may see you when it's done or I may see you halfway through depending on what I feel like would be a good thing to record but we've done a lot of building in today's episode so it could be dragging on a little bit but I'll get back with you once we have some progress underway and we get a you little thing you zombie you little baby zombie you should deserve to die for doing that but yeah I'll, I'll regroup with you guys when we have Oh, for goodness sake, when we have some various building techniques and stuff in place to make a cute little fish hut, and then we can start work on prettying up the little area by the lake and stuff like that. So I will get back with you once that is done. Okay, so it's not finished yet, uh, because we need banners, brown banners. And currently we do not have access to cocoa beans, so I'm not able to get the brown dye I need to finish this off but not to worry it doesn't look too bad without the brown banners anyway as soon as I get my hands on some cocoa beans I will sort them out but it's nice it's it's a nice little hut on this peninsula not peninsula on this ledge up here we got our pond over here I just quickly made this through it together I'll be adding a little bit of detail to this over time but I don't have too much time left in the day to finish this but we got a fishing net here just little fish everywhere and yeah, we've got our fish farm in here, and I didn't mean to open that, and as you can see, it's all nice and sorted. We should probably get a light source in here somewhere, but I don't have any on me. They'll be down here. Let's grab a torch. Where is that zombie? Just hearing growls and groans, and it's slightly scary. I don't know where they are. But anyway, yeah, we'll stick this up there. And yeah, I don't think there's any better way to get not to get to see if this is working than to do a test so without further ado let us let us do a test of this fish farm for about an hour so i'll see you after the test
now that that test is done, we are going to link up with Nano. By the way, it all did work. I checked the chest and everything, but I'm not going to show you guys on camera because that is just too complicated. I've already sorted a load of stuff out, like the books and stuff. So, yeah, I'm just going to run up here to Fluff's and mine nether tower thing. Take a look at the view out the front and tell you guys that we're going to be linking up with Nano now. Uh, to build a path between my area and his area. Um, he's going to plan to build a bridge across that dirt bridge there. And then there's going to be an area that comes out right next to mine. So we're going to link up together and build a path between each other's. I'm going to show you uh, the st very, very start intro bit of that and the very, very end. And then the rest you'll have to find out for yourself over on Nano's channel. So I'm going to leave a link to Nano's video down in the description below. Uh, so you guys can go and watch that over there, but I will be showing you the final bit of progress But if you want to see everything in between you're gonna have to go over to Nano's channel to check that out But as for now, I am gonna get over with Nano and start recording Hello everyone. It is Nano back on SMPD X3 Amplified. I am here joined with the Me. Tobster Lobster. Hello here. Yeah, and um, I do have the alpha damage sounds from the Vanilla Tweaks resource pack. And today, Toby, why don't you tell us what we will be doing today? Well, today, Nano, if you don't know already, lives over here in this mad tower. That looks awesome if you're watching my end. Go check him out to watch him build that and stuff. But we are his bridge basically comes out really close to my area, so we thought, why don't we build a cliffside path that goes around here and links up to it down here yep and we thought that could be a really cool idea just to link our bases together and do a collaboration yep see and you there oh. yeah basically see you guys just as in a second basically what I'm gonna do is I am going to just show you the end result because I don't have too much time left this episode to do the entire collaboration but Nano is gonna have the entire thing recorded on his channel so go check Nano's video out, which will be a link in the description to, to go and see what we got up to. But I'll just show you the start and here and the end result of what we build. If you want to see the process, go to Nano. Okay, so me and Nano have now finished up our episode on his channel and we built this. We built a little entrance in the side over here next to our fish hut. And I built our enchanting area. I decided not to put it down at the bottom over there, but actually put it in here. So our minecart chest comes up here and unloads our stuff into this chest. And we have our enchanting table in the middle, anvil over there, and various different book storage all around the outside I can sort stuff into. We've got a little bit of Nano's theme coming into here, but we have got Nano's books, and that is because we are going to be supplying Nano with random uh, enchanted books that I don't want and don't really serve too much of a purpose to me to put on hats because he is going to be building a hat shop in the near future so make sure you keep tuned into nano to see those going on but we built this uh this little uh, area going over to nano's place and there's nano down there and yeah it's got a viewing platform into our enchanting area i made very clear that this is not for public use because this is on a quite main path so toby's enchanting room not for public use uh, because this path is going is basically linking directly to Nano's bridge, which is going to be quite central, and directly over to that portal area over there we were just at uh, through the uh, staircase I made. So people will often be using this probably, and I want to make very sure that people don't come and steal my books because I worked long and hard to fish for those books overnight. So basically, yeah, this is bridge to be constructed by Nano. That's Nano's tower over there. So we've got stuff to be doing. This is the side nano bill, and then we together made this design here. And I think a good this is probably a good place to end the episode. We have done lots in today's episode. We finished up our basement. We started and finished our basement. Finally, a good place to store some items. Uh, we got a fish hut, a permanent place for our fishing farm. We got a pond, and we did a little collab with Nano for a bit over on his channel where we built this area. So I highly recommend you check that out, link in the description. But as for now, I've been Toby and I will go into F5 mode to say thank you guys so much for watching this episode of SMPDX3 Amplified Edition. And I hope to see you guys all in the next episode. So thank you for watching and goodbye. See you next time.